Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's been a while since we uploaded our last video and that's because we have been caught up with some other commitments. But guess what, we are back now and we are planning to post uh, videos more regularly. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the some tech related content ahead. Alright, so uh, today I want to share my experience with Samsung's One UI. I've been using uh, it for past few months while Samsung is doing a fantastic job competing with the smartphone market especially against giants like Apple but there are a few areas where I feel they can improve uh, the chances of iPhones iPhone users switching to Samsung might be uh, very less okay so here are the few suggestions which I think uh, they should build in the in in Samsung's one UI. I'm using this is the Samsung S24 plus and this is a budget uh, MI phone, okay. All right, so I'll be comparing some of the features which are there in this budget MI phone and not there in the Samsung. Believe me, Samsung provides an excellent set of features, but I think uh, they should be providing these features as well. All right, so <coughs> the first feature is just in simple app lock. I know that Samsung has given the secure lock, but secure lock is not a replacement for app lock. Okay, I just want, I don't want to install multiple copies. I don't want a separate partition of storage in my file system. I just need a simple uh, app lock, okay, which is not there in uh, in Samsung UI, One UI, okay. Uh, it's it's there on the MI phone, all right. So if, if I show you, if we go to this security application here in MI, uh, if I click here, let's say it says turn on, uh, let's uh, create this pattern L and then L again. Next, not now. Okay, uh, let's do it. All right. So this here is the function as is known as app lock. So let's say if I go here, if I enable this, it says me. I say cancel and uh, let's say I'm locking YouTube. Okay, and then I just lock my phone and if i open youtube it says it is locked so it's simple there's no separate youtube copy installed or something like that so but this is not present in the samsung if the app is providing the app lock then only you can use it otherwise you cannot use it and this app lock has a one more functionality right if you go here if i open this uh, it it will allow you to hide the notification content as well. The second one, if I say uh, what I need is the call blocking function. Okay, so what Samsung has is right. Uh, let's say if I go to settings, all right, settings and I have block number, okay, block numbers. So uh, what I want is, let's say any, any call coming from this uh, 114, right it should be blocked but this pattern does not work in samsung okay so they they have the option of let's say uh block all spam calls or only high risk calls so but this option will block your uh, delivery related uh calls as well which is not what we want right uh i what 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 i wanted is that feature that let's say 1140 uh it should block all the calls but it doesn't work block list if you go here block list you have an option let's say block numbers or uh, block numbers add add a prefix right where you can add something like this pattern which is missing in the again in the samsung's one ui uh if you see right if here one one four zero numbers there the numbers are different each time i can't uh, keep on adding but this is a productivity related function which samsung should give all right now i'll come to some of the gallery related functions so in in one ui samsung has given lot of uh, lot of features related to photo editing but there are certain things which uh, samsung is missing let's say i'm opening a photo uh, this photo i'll open the same photo uh, here as well okay so here if i increase the brightness by bit so if you see right here create so what we have here in the create option, uh, the sky option. So if I click here sky, uh, it gives me like options to replace the sky. Okay. 
which sometimes it may look artificial but sometimes it looks good okay uh, it is helpful in some of the cases but there is no option of sky changing here so uh, in the list of AIs right Samsung should provide this option as well that uh, users can change the sky option as well which is missing right um, now coming to the the uh, the last thing which I wanted to share it's also about the gallery right so let's say I have a photo of a human right this is a human right and this is the same photo here now I want to add a background uh, background blur in this uh, photograph of this human right so if I click edit here and I go here and then I go to face effects so here if you see right what does it say it says cannot add background blur uh, because the face is too far away right I face this problem a lot now if I click a photograph with the help of Samsung's inbuilt camera with the 3x port, uh, zoom the, with the same focal length it will uh, make the uh, background as blurred right portrait photo but when I if I click it normally and I try to add this in the multiple occasions it says the face is too far away it want the face to much closer okay uh, now I get it right why they have might have done it because they don't want to make it look artificial but what I'm saying that in the camera you are giving that option just give the option in the gallery as well right so if you see there is no option here I can't add the black room blur but if I go here and I go to create and go to bouquet see it has added the background blur right and this this looks good okay uh, it's it doesn't look that much artificial but here I don't have the option itself all right so this also Samsung should look into that all right and the last one is right uh, is about the updates because flagship Samsung S24 plus and it uh, the beta of one UI 7 based on Android 15 is out but it's not the stable update is still not rolled out I believe they are waiting for the S25 series launch but if you see right majority of the players like Oppo MI OnePlus even nothing has re uh, released the stable version of Android 15 but OnePlus uh, is uh, sorry Samsung is still lagging on that front too so uh, thank you all for watching this video stay tuned have a good day bye